Hey yo, chicks with you. I know I'm a little bit late, but today we're going to show you guys how to solo the Belmos in the hell difficulty. So, um, back in the days I was a little bit lazy, so I never cared about that, but with level 100 I was like, damn, now it's much much easier, so maybe I should do a video as well. And this is going to be the team. Um, Andre showed me this team. So first of all, we're going to use defense food. So um, I would say if you don't have the title, you shouldn't do it. But I think at this point of the game, if you play long enough, you will definitely have the title since it's just basically doing um, enough training caves. I think 25 training caves and then we have it or 33. I'm not sure right now anymore. But yeah, um, also we use the damage decrease artifact side because basically we don't want to take that much damage. Um, and now just coming to the gear. So the gear is very, very important. So just like back in the days, in the OG days, in order to patients like, for example, Kalak normal or hard, in the middle, we are going to use resistance. So we have attack and defense with resistance in the middle. Um, Here we have HP defense with resistance in the middle, like common, rare, both works. You are is not necessary, okay? Um, And here, as you can see, Eskono also on an attack defense built with resistance in the middle and now we're going to see how that goes so um we will probably take some failed runs as well just um to have some fun because here yeah, as you can see we are streaming live on twitch so um i think getting some reactions gonna be pretty nice right guys also eventually just check out our twitch channel or discord links are in the description below okay guys let's see our first try hopefully um our first try is going to go well so i think in the in general in the first um turn what we are going to do try to get the gray sex or in general try to get the gray sex so here as you can see he probably i'm not sure though he probably shouldn't deal that much damage because basically he has full health so if you guys are not aware um if belmos has or the more health he has the less damage he deals so basically he's just like um lowly merlin in reverse so try to not deal much damage and I should have probably changed the positioning as well because the thing is um basically what is called basically uh, Mali left the merger onto a single target wouldn't be that great so later I will change it so what we're going to do now is we will do this and this those two cards are going to uh, miss anyways that's why we can burn this and we get a gray stack without taking any damage which is going oh wait this does damage never mind um I actually thought that the card of Valenti is a melee card because she goes near and then attacks 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 right that's weird but yeah okay let's see basically now what we're going to do is we try to stall we try to rush ults um what we want is we want to have Meliodas and Ascano ult in order to basically um one shot him so what we're going to do now is just stalling and um I would say we move here we can just burn this AoE and we can also, I would say, move this once. Hopefully we get a merger eventually. If we get, for example, two single targets, we will probably use it. Okay, we will probably use those two. But yeah, let's just see. So um, his ult is a detonate ult. So basically he does a shit ton of damage. As you can see, that's very, very bad. And um, Meliodas does take a lot of damage. So having Tamiya is really good. But the problem is when right now we are infected. So um, not doing that much. Right, guys? Okay. Maybe I should have moved cards only because... He does hit quite hard, especially with his attack buff. But yeah, uh, let's just for now get the ult of Meliodas. Okay. And move Escanor twice. Too bad we didn't get a merger onto Escanor because if we would have gotten a merger into Escanor, we would have been able to get his ult as well. But yeah, let's see. So hopefully Meli doesn't get attacked. I don't know. Is it a dead run? We, we will see. I don't think it's a dead run. Actually, we get ulted again. Yeah, it is a dead run. You guys are right. The thing is now, uh, we won't be able to tank again, but, okay, but, it's not a dead run. We can still try, okay? This is, this is the only chance we have. Like here for now, we will, we will, um, get rid of his stance. Okay, we can't kill. So first run, unfortunately, a total failure. <laughs> okay, guys, this is gonna be the run. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna do the single targets again. So basically, um, I think the gray stack is still pretty important, even though we do quite do a little bit too much damage. I definitely don't like the damage we are dealing, but I guess it's pretty good to have. So we're going to just do this again. Um, then we're going to use the single target of him so that we don't do damage. And now we're going to merge. So hopefully we are going to get a merger onto Escanor, for example, um, or in general some some other cards so let's see. oh fuck 
Wait a second. This is the card which doesn't do damage? Okay, I'm I'm a fucking Pepega right now, guys. Um, I didn't pay attention earlier, not well enough. But okay, but we have cards of him, which is very nice. So what we're going to do is we double attack with this for now. Um Yeah, yeah, I I I I, I see that now too. We should do this. And the question is if I should just do this. Fuck, I should have I should have just used this and then fuck. I could have gotten the ult without well let me just do it like this for now, okay? Um it's not really the right choice to do it like this, because I should have just used the Valenti card immediately to let it go to merge. And then um Well, it's whatever now. So let's see. So next round we are going to get the ult of Meliodas. The cool thing about Meliodas right now, he doesn't have that many ult gauges, so he won't take that much damage anymore. But unfortunately, our Escanor got critted. Oh my god, why do you attack him? Oh my god. Okay, good, good, good. It wasn't much damage, so um, only the ult is very, very um, dangerous because it's a detonate ult. So, now we can just get the Meliodas ult. Very sweet. So, the question is, should we merge here? Or should we just... No, we yeah, we have to merge in order to get that card draw. I would say I will merge here as well. And I kind of want to burn this card because the AoE is probably pretty bad, but... I think I don't really want to take the um, reflect damage. So now we should be fine. And now basically with Mali ult and also Escano ult, we should be able to kill. And here as you can see, he luckily doesn't do that much damage. Also because they are limited advantage and Valenti even patience. Okay, now we're going to do this. Um, I would say... Let's do this and then this so that we can actually get the gray stack it's gonna work right guys yes so we are going to get the gray stack because we use two single targets i think that's pretty good so basically what you're going to do is you need to get um those two ults before he's going to um ult a second time and now we are in the second life let's see how this goes um okay okay basically we need good cards because right now the cards are horrible so i would say what we're going to do is we are going to do i want to burn the i think i will burn this and this so that we get the great stack and then we're going to burn this as well so that we don't do too much damage but we at least get the great stack and we burn cards that wouldn't be too bad like, I think getting the cruel sons of Escanor is really, really good because he doesn't do damage. Because once again, um, he has the Merlin passive, lowly Merlin passive in reverse. So um, the more damage you're going to deal to him, the more damage he's going to deal to you. But looking pretty good so far. As you can see, only Melly is the unit which takes some damage. And now let's see. Um, Very nice. I would say we're going to use those two cards. Then we have maximum gray stacks. Awesome. So we do this, we do this, and um, should we get the T1 ult already? Probably not. Um, I will, yeah, I will get this ult already. Really? I can use AoE? Okay, I will use the two-star AoE because I can I can let it merge. So um, as you can see also here are some people who did this already because I, I, I'm doing it for the first time or second time now, right? Um, I never did it before. Besides of in extreme, I did it, but in extreme is obviously much. Oh, okay, okay. I like the cards. I like it. Okay, I think what we can do now is, uh, we can burn the AOEs. Okay, one question, guys. Can all three ults kill the last phase, or do I have to stall and deal some damage? Okay, stall and deal some damage might be a little bit better, right? In the second, in the last phase. Okay. Um, I would say what we're going to do is double AOE for now. Actually, no. We get the ult like this. And I would say just do do we merge? Yeah, merge won't harm to get the ult already. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, my I'm right now not doing uh, any demons because we will do the OG demon after the solo first, and then uh, I can put you on the list though. The thing is okay. The thing is, do do I damage a little bit the next phase? So here, as you can see, very very easy. Okay, I hope the ult doesn't do too much. Wait, don't we have to kill before the wood? Okay, no, we are we are okay. We are okay. Right, guys? 
Yes, I can I can add you to the list, Defso. But the thing is I I'm not I, I can't guarantee that I will do the demons with you guys. Yeah, so basically if he has ult, the run is over. I should have just killed in the previous round. Um but let's see how much damage we're going to take from from that. So I would say what we're going to do is uh, we try to get as many stacks as we can. I hope the single target doesn't kill. So does the corrosion kill? Because I do not know. I do not know. As I said, it's, it's the first time I'm doing this. So the corrosion might kill. Okay, very nice that um, at least at least it didn't uh, it didn't uh, kill. So we can get maximum stacks. Okay, guys, I think we can still do it. I think we can still do it. Like the, the problem is though that we were um, infected. But, okay, but, we have, we have 6-6 six, six, everyone, okay? I will just try YOLO it, okay? I should have YOLO, I will, oh yeah, you are right, Malari, I should have single targeted with, because melee single target does more damage, and we have no single target of melee anymore. Okay, let's just see, this might not work, okay? But I will just try and see. I just want to see the damage now, so that I can know for later, you know? And of course, it depends on your old levels as well. Hey, Arnos, how's going? Okay, this is this damage was terrible. What about so he he should deal a decent amount of damage and he's still level 90 guys. Ah, this is not enough. This is not enough. This is not enough. I would have needed another single target, I think. But maybe, maybe he single targets and doesn't kill us. But yeah, the 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 ult we 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 must not have taken the ult because yeah, we can't survive this shit. Wait. He didn't do much damage. Hey yo, Choto Mateo. Hey yo? Ayo? He doesn't even AoE? It's doable, guys. She's getting the ult. She's getting the ult. Ayo? We do this. Wait, this is second try, right, guys? This is second try. Ayo? He's dead. He's dead. The ult does 100k. It was much, much easier than I thought. And it was like not the perfect rng right guys so basically um don't do the mistake like me don't use double melee single target like i did use the valenti ult because melee hits harder but yeah that's basically it guys second try we were able to beat this very very nice and yeah so i really hope it was helpful and you are guys uh, and you guys are going to be able to beat this as well and get the juicy four gems thank you so much for tuning in and Peace out for now.